Hey, and thank you for checking out the asset. Allow me to show you exactly what's in it. After you download the asset, you'll notice that you have a Easy Draw folder. Inside that Easy Draw folder um, is two other folders and then two prefabs. Now, these are the main prefabs that you would use. To use this asset is so, so very simple. Only requirement is to make sure that your camera is set to orthographic. You can say that word for a second orthographic and that's all the requirement you need at this point if you like to draw simply draw drag and drop the draw manager into your scene and you're ready to go really it is that simple um, right now the draw style is set to with collider you can set to use uh, without collider and that simply means that when you draw um, there's no colliders around the objects that you're drawing. You can also change your size. And of course, you saw already, you can change um, your color. Now, what does the width collider mean? And I'll show you here in just a second. I've created a little sprite, 2D sprite. It's a ball. I've given it a uh, collider and also a rigid body 2D. For right now, I've set it to cosmetic. That way it doesn't uh, fall. And let me just go ahead and enable it and I will bring it up some. So just a simple sprite here and I'll show you real quick um, all it's gonna do when I change it here. It's just gonna fall because it has rigid body on it. And what that means now with the draw width collider, as you can see here, we're set to draw with collider. That means that whatever you draw, the ball will actually fall um, onto. And I'll demonstrate this here for you. And then maybe a blue. Have it fall and run and run. Go down and then maybe a little. Let's see if we can catch it into this little container right here. <laughs> Let's see how good my drawing is. So I'll go to the ball and I'll just change it from uh, cosmetic to dynamic and let's see what happens. Show me that money. Nailed it. And that's all it is to enable this asset. Let's look at the slash. So I'll remove the draw management and you'll see I have one called a slash line. This is useful for games similar to a uh, Fruit Ninja or any kind of game where you would swipe with your finger or with your mouse and you want to leave that quick slash effect. By default the asset is set to green and the, the size is also 0 0.2. Feel free to change those and like before all you had to do is drag and drop it into your scene and you're ready to go. Now when I slash, you can see it just slashes across the screen. And that's it folks. That's exactly how the asset work. If this is something that you like to implement in your project, feel free to go ahead and purchase it. Um, and shoot out, shout any questions out to me. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering English right now. Send me any questions that you have, uh, any trouble or any problems that happens and I'll try my best to respond as soon and as quickly as possible. Have a great day, folks. Bye-bye.